Barcelona's famous La Masia Academy might be more renowned around the world, but Valencia's equivalent, located at the Parque Tecnológico de Valencia, has furnished many of the world's top football clubs with gifted players. In recent years, the likes of Manchester United Juan Mata, David Silva of Manchester City and Barcelona's Jordi Alba have all moved on after graduating from Valencia's academy. While the likes of new striking star Paco Alcácer, 21, and the hugely promising 19-year-old Jose Luis Gaia have become important parts of the first team. Those much prized skills were honed from a young age and developed through their teenage years until a first team place is in sight. That development is overseen by former Valencia winger and now club director of football Francisco Ruffete, who broke down the Valencia Academy model. We have 10 youth teams here at the Academy here in Paterna from under 12s through to under 18s. How many players we take on each year is determined by the needs of each team in the academy set up. Last year we took on 50 players from the Valencia region and beyond. If the players are local, they join the academy at the age of 10 until the age of 17 or 18. If the players come from outside of Valencia, they tend to be a little older, starting at 13 or so. In terms of what we do with the players coaching-wise, again, depends on the age of the players. Those aged 12 and under receive two coaching sessions a week. From 12 to 15, they participate in training three times a week. And from 15 and above, as they near the elite, they get four sessions a week. With so many young players being taken on every season and the path to the first team a difficult one, plenty are released by the club each year, their dreams unfulfilled. And how hard is it telling a player that they're not going to make it with Valencia, that you're going to let them go? It's a situation difficult because... It's difficult, very, very difficult to tell any young player or older that they're not going to make it at the club. We do everything we can to make it easier on the player, but it is always very difficult. We naturally speak to the players' parents to keep them informed of the situation, and we try and break the news to them in the nicest way we can. We sit them down in a comfortable setting and explain our reasons why we're letting them go. But no matter what you do, it's still incredibly difficult, but something we simply have to do. Once the players are released, if they came to the academy from in and around Valencia, we have a good relationship with clubs in this part of Spain, so we try and help them find a team. If they're from further afield, well, these are teams we're competing against, so it's harder to do anything. Rafete estimates that only two 10-year-olds who join the club might go through the age groups to reach the first team. With that in mind, it's essential they're able to hit the ground running. At the academy, we follow the same style as the first teams in terms of identity with regards to what we want from players, whether they're youngsters or established first team stars. What really makes the difference is the system used because the first team has to remain flexible and use different formations against different opposition. Sometimes we play 4-4-2, other times we change it to 4-3-3 depending on our needs. So we at the academy have to ensure that we produce players that have the same flexibility and ability to adapt should they go on to break into the first team squad. But in terms of philosophy, things remain the same. It's a great boost for everyone when players like Gaia or Alcacer graduates from the academy to the first team. It's great for us because it means the system is working and it's inspiring for the young players who see what is possible with hard work. Todo el trabajo que se hace abajo tienes la posibilidad de de que arriba se se pueda ver, ¿no? For older academy members such as Fran Vialba and Antonio La Torre, joining the first team squad is a realistic dream, but both are under no illusions over what lies in wait. Bueno, pues, trabajar día a día para, para poder... Hard work day by day. I must work hard to get to the first team, but having players like Paco Alcazar and Salva to look up to is great motivation. 
I've had the chance to train with the first team on a couple of occasions, and many of the players have given me great advice. So hopefully, I can kick on and establish myself as a first team regular in five years' time. I've been with the club since I was six years old, and I've always felt it was the best club for me to grow as a player and as a person, as they educate as well as coaches and teachers to respect our teammates. Reaching the first team would be a dream come true and I'll keep working hard to achieve it. It really helps when we see other players make the first team. The first team players are very helpful to us academy players. They're always happy to give us advice and help us make that big step up. But the best advice I've had came from my grandfather who told me to work hard and always enjoy what I do. So that's what I try to do and hopefully I make it to the club. Alcapa has made it at Valencia and is a rising star in the Spanish game. As a local boy, his ascent to the first team is extra special. It's great to have always played for the team from my hometown, the team I grew up supporting as a boy. It was a hard process, but I kept working on my game and little by little, I got closer and closer to the first team until I managed to make the step up and play for Valencia. I joined the academy at the age of 12 or 13 and at the beginning, if I'm being honest, I just saw playing football as a hobby and it was fun to come out and just play football after school. But as the years went by, I started to take my football more seriously and responsibly and now I'm reaping the rewards of my hard work and I'm enjoying my football, playing for my hometown club. Valencia legend David Albelda was Al Alcatha's idol when he was growing up and now the young hotshot finds himself in a similar role passing on advice to young up-and-coming players. Being a role model for the younger players at the squad is a great thing. I enjoy the added responsibility and I hope that I can help them get to the top. I tell the academy players to set themselves a goal, focus on that objective and work hard to try and ensure they achieve it but also to enjoy the process. With the introduction of financial fair play, does that make academies even more important than ever? Yes, and I think there are two sides to this. On one hand, we know that financial fair play stops teams overspending, which is a positive thing. Secondly, it encourages us as clubs, and particularly Valencia, to bring in young, talented footballers, help them grow and develop as players, and instill within them that Valencian spirit and values.